counting like f dot 90 so there are three kind of entries that you can see okay so one entry is entry one is so first of all the entry one entry one is posted to all ledgers like ol and 1l so the transaction posted in two ledgers okay that is called as a parallel accounting right so the entry should be technical clearing account of a fixed asset account debit to vendor account this is one of the interview question okay that is the reason i am explaining to you guys okay so the first entry should be technical clearing account of fixed asset account at to vendor account and one more thing this is not ledger specific okay so here posted in two ledgers ol and 1l okay now if you want to see ledger specific like if you want to see the ledger for us gap so this is ol right ledger is ol and this is for accounting principle what is the entry could be so asset asset acquisition account debit and technical clearing of fixed asset account credit okay and entry three so ledger specific posting for ol this is for non-leading ledger what should be the entry asset acquisition account debit to technical clearing account so this is the so this is the posting logic in sap s4 hana okay so if you post any transaction through f.90 then there, there are three kind of entries that we can see in s4 hana posting logic so here the since uh, two or three here i explained that this is the entry two and this is the entry three this is a specific ledger wise so these are ledger specific wise uh, while entry number one is not ledger specific okay now practically how we can see this information so first of all you just go to the technical clearing account okay i, I want to see uh, how many company codes are uh, for uh, how, for uh, for this gl account how many company codes are linked okay so that is the reason I didn't ski and didn't give anything. Okay, so I just give it over here. So my company code 2001 is linked with 29906. Okay, so there are several kind of transactions are already posted with this GL account. Okay, now I want to see one GL account. See, I want to see one entry. Just select this and click on this feds. Okay, and go to um, this call up document. So this is the entry, right? So 31 posting key for vendor and 70 posting key for technical clearing account. So this is the technical clearing account I just explored right now. Okay. Now in SAP asset accounting. So if you want to see the journal entries, this is the it is posted in two ledgers. Okay. Leading ledgers and non-leading ledgers also. Okay. So this is the leading ledger and the non-leading extension ledgers are there and simulation ledger and also posted in non-leading ledger. That is the reason parallel accounting, right? So if you want to go back. So you just to go back and again just double click on this and double click on this. So here one option is there in S4 HANA for asset accounting. So just double click on this. This is the posting logic. So this is the technical clearing account data R to vendor. So for uh, one ledger, okay, and for the second ledger. So this is one ledger. Ledger group has not mentioned, but uh, this is one ledger and this is second ledger for this. Okay, so ledger specific wise. You can see the details. Technical clearing account should be comes into picture. So that is the reason I told you guys. So this one is very important for the interview because uh, so asset acquisition concept is linked with the technical clearing account in S4 HANA. So I explained very clearly with the practical. OK, so if I explain theoretically, you don't understand uh, why we are doing these things. OK. This is the topic I just wanted to explain to you. OK, I'm sharing this document. OK, I'm sharing this document. Uh, so this is all about SAP S4 HANA topic. See in real time, nobody will tell you, okay, where the technical uh, technical clearing account should be configured, okay, and how we can pick that GL account. Nobody will tell, okay. This is for your analysis. So far, you have spent at least 90 days. In these 90 days, you shouldn't uh, you didn't uh, in 90 days you didn't see how the uh, how the things we need to be analyzed, okay. So today I told you right how the things we can analyze based on the tables. In real time, we need to know the tables. Okay, so if you don't aware the tables, then it would be very difficult. 
because uh, so client will give you only half requirement based on the half requirement you need to complete the full okay so where we so second way is uh, here uh, the configuration is also there for technical clearing account this is the configuration path see how the configuration will be happen for the technical asset, technical clearing asset, account so go to financial account asset account integration with the general ledger i will tell you right now this is your consulting uh, perspective this is one of the interview question in uh, sap s4 hana profiles okay one of the important question as well just to go to financial accounting okay then go to asset accounting okay then tell me anyone just uh, look out that uh, chart box configuration path where I, where i need to go integration integration with general ledger technical clearing account for integrated asset this is the this one or any any other this one this one yeah then define technical clearing account for integrated yes. asset account acquisitions so these are all technical technical clearing accounts linked with the linked with the chart of accounts chart of accounts okay so the, so if you are not designing the technical clearing account then your logic should should be failed your posting logic should be failed okay technical clearing account is a reconciliation account or not anyone tell me it's a reconciliation account sir i will tell you it's a reconciliation or not so this is the thing right um, just uh, so go to fs00 okay and uh, now where i can see the gl accounts anyone where i can see where i can see the gl accounts so i need to i need to see the gl account 2000 company code and what is that two series right two series okay so if you don't understand where where it should be then you just uh, go and check it out how this gl account has been created okay here so this gl account right account group 290 and gl account type okay it's uh, here uh, it's not showing as a reconciliation account see some of the reconciliation accounts are here it's not showing a reconciliation account but uh, we need to check uh, so this this is reconciliation clearing account or not see in new asset accounting so technical clearing account has been set up okay the system divides the acquisition posting into two parts one is operational and second one is the valuation part so we have two types of parts okay so one is operational part and second one is valuation part operational part pertains the vendor invoice which is ledger group independent document that is posted all ledger so what we have seen in the posting uh, uh, entry the first one this is for well, this is for operational part and valuation part means ledger part so if you post the transaction through ledgers and accounting principles so that is for ledger that is for operation that is for valuation part so technical clearing account the entries can be two types one is operational and valuation part so once you post any acquisition so there are there are two types of uh, approaches are there one is operational and second one is valuation part so operational part pertains the vendor invoice which is ledger group independent document all all posted to all ledgers this is operational part and the value pertains to posting capitalization of the asset the document ledger group dependent document this is valid only given accounting principles the operation and valuation parts uh, uh, parts are posted again is the technical clearing account then technical clearing account is defined in the following setup okay this is the way it should be set up but i i still have some clarity so this is a reconciliation gl or not i need to check so technical clearing account needs to be defined as a reconciliation for asset a reconciliation for asset okay it's act as a zero balance account it's not a uh reconciliation so technical clearing account is need to be defined as a reconciliation for assets due to the operational valuation part so each accounting principle it's a not reconciliation account okay it's a reconciliation not reconciliation gl
this is for your understanding. So this is uh, not the uh, not reconciliation account, okay? So if this is not a reconciliation account. Still have open items. So technical grading account needs to be defined as a reconciliation. No, the fixed asset thousands of open items will be there. It's not a reconciliation account. In OBY6, just go to OBY6 and go to position company code 2001. Okay, so check it out. The chart of account is this one. Okay. So it was not defined as a technical account, is not defined as a reconciliation account. How we are finding the GL accounts? like this okay this is the gl account i want to see so this is the two series two nine double zero zero six Clearing accounts. So this is one. Okay. So this is a balance sheet account 2900 and go to control data. So balance in local currency, it's a technical account, man. It's a technical clearing account. Okay. It's a reconciliation account. So if you want to see the if you want to see this real account. to fb l3n okay so give this gl account and see how many transactions are posted with this gl okay just double click on this and click so this is the entry and if you want to see the total this is a valuation part this is a operational part okay so in valuation part you can see so accounting principal wise accounting principal ledger wise ledger group wise ledger wise okay so that is the major difference you can see so indian gap the so document currency company code currency here you can see the company code document and company code currencies line items you can see all these things okay account assignment line so this is the gl account is linked asset accounting code in black Okay, so this is all about technical clearing account. So very important session and uh, very important section. Technical clearing account is a reconciliation account. Okay, so technical clearing account acts as a reconciliation account. Very important point. And how we can identify the technical clearing account, where we can assign the technical clearing account, that things we need to understand. Okay, I'm also sharing this uh, document. Uh, it's not there right now. I think I closed. So this document is enough. Tomorrow you can explain to the interviewer. So how, what is the technical clearing account? Okay, and uh, explain to the interviewer. So what are the entries will come and what is operational uh, value uh, and uh, what is operational level and valuation level? What, uh, in operational level, what kind of entries will pop up? And uh, valuation level, what kind of entries will come? This is very important. For every asset acquisition, technical clearing account should be comes into picture. Okay, because it's an invoice, it's a open item. Okay, thank you very much. We'll continue tomorrow. Sir, okay, okay, is it other? Good day. Sir, I'm going to be. Sir, sir. Sir, I'm going to be.